Is it too late to make friends as an adult? No. But finding friends as an adult may be challenging, but it's not impossible. Maybe you're in the same situation as me. I just moved abroad. I live in LA now and I moved from Copenhagen, Denmark. I don't go to school anymore. I'm self-employed and I feel like I've grown apart from a lot of my old friendships and I don't have friends and family here. So I am definitely in a situation where I need to find new friends and build new relations. And I'm here to help you too. And I know it's terrifying and it could be super nerve-wracking and awkward i mean it's just like dating so there's no difference there you're just finding friends and you're probably going on multiple friend dates too because i mean for me i would like to have more than just one friend but it's just so important to put yourself out there and get outside of your comfort zone because otherwise how will you ever meet someone i mean it's the same as dating right you will never find your partner if you do not put yourself out there. So this is what we're going to talk about today. And trust me, you will feel so proud of yourself. At least every time I step outside of my comfort, I feel so proud of myself afterwards. So it's like a win-win situation. You take charge of your life and your happiness and find new friends. I will divide this video into two sections. I will talk about how to make friends online and how to find people in the real life. But without further ado, let's just start with tip number one. So my tip number one would be to use Bumble BFF and yes, it's a dating app, but you can also use it to find and connect with new people and I love this app so much. I have met more than one on this app and it's just so easy and convenient, especially if you have a busy life or as me, you are new in a city and you don't know the city at all, so it's kind of terrifying to just go out there in real life and meet people, then this is a perfect app. I love it because you can easily see if you have something in common. I mean, if you have the same interests. For, for me, I love coffee shops, I love thrifting, I love walking, hiking, I love crafting. So of course, I'm looking for people with the same interests as me. It's also great if you're more shy because then you can start to connect with people online for texting and not just meeting people in real life and be so intimidated that you cannot say one word. And I love to look at people's pictures because you can kind of sense a vibe, right? I mean, I love to see if they have animals on their pictures, if they do something outdoorsy. I don't know why, I just feel like I can sense and tell a lot about the person through their pictures. So I would highly recommend using Bumble BFF, especially if you're new in an area because a lot of people on the app are new to the city as well. So you're in the same situation and you can kind of bond about being new in a city and explore together. So I will highly recommend that. And my tip number two is to use Facebook groups. I did it when I got here that I immediately searched for something like friends in Los Angeles and I found this group called Social Girls in LA where people can post about yeah almost everything. If you need a dog sitter, if you throw an event and people can just come and join if they want to, if you're new in a city and you want to meet new people and I just love that. That's just also an easy and convenient way to just start and put yourself out there if you're a bit intimidated by the fact of going out there in the real life, then looking for Facebook groups is the perfect way to meet and connect with new people. You can also search for, or it could be some sport groups or hobby groups. I have seen people posting about dinner clubs and book clubs and hiking clubs. I did the same thing when I got here. I made a post about myself and why I'm here and I'm new in town and if people wanna meet up then I would love to and people texted me so that was super awesome and I have met people through Facebook group as well. My third and last tip on how to make friends online will be to use your social media. For me I love to use Instagram to find new awesome people I want to potentially hang out with. So take a look on who you're following already, maybe some of them live close to you and I suggest that you should start if you don't do it already, like like their posts, comment on their pictures or I don't know, react to their stories, that's what I do and I have met people through Instagram too, both in Denmark but also here in Los Angeles. I just love to use Instagram to connect with new people. I mean, it's like you already know them a bit since they are posting online and you react to their stories. Maybe they're texting you too. And 
and you already have a connection there. And then I would suggest that you slide into the DMs and ask them out for coffee. I mean, it's so harmless, right? And people love coffee or matcha or, I don't know, a cookie. And I love that. And people, honestly, they want to meet new people too. So they're just so thankful that someone is actually reaching out and wants to hang out with them. So I can highly recommend that too. And again, if you're a bit shy and all, this is a great way to meet new people too. So this was my tips on how to make friends online and I will now continue this video with telling you about how you can make friends in the real life. Some prefer meeting people in real life and I wish I, <laughs> I was more confident to do that. I have tried some of the tips but I do prefer meeting people online. But maybe I should try to put myself out there even more and meet uh, more people in real life. My first tip on how to make friends in the real world would be to look around at where you're at, maybe at school or at your job, your workspace. Is there someone you would love to hang out with outside of job or outside of school? Then I think you should reach out to them. That's an easy way to build new friendships. I did the same thing when I had a job and I love the fact that you are not only colleagues but you're also friends and it makes going to school or work even more fun, right? And I mean most people they love when people reach out to them and ask them a question or ask if they want to hang out outside of work because they've probably thought about the same thing but maybe they're too nervous or too scared to ask you so I think you should ask your colleagues or some of your classmates if they want to hang outside of school or work you can just ask if they want to grab a coffee after work or I don't know maybe even dinner it's just a great way after a shift to go out and just end the day in a nice way I love when my colleagues ask me and I did the same thing and I don't know you have nothing to lose I mean yes it can be awkward if they say no but why should they so this is something I really recommend you to try out here is my second tip on how to make friends in the real world I would highly recommend you to start a new sport or a new hobby it could be Pilates or yoga it is so popular at least here in LA to go and play pickleball or go to a Pilates class and I mean maybe some of them they will continue coming to the same class and if you're too nervous just to enter your first class and start talking to people then see if some of them are there the next time and maybe just start to chat with them after class just talking about the class how hard it was or something and then i don't know maybe ask them if you're really brave then just ask them straight away hey do you want to grab a coffee after class it's just so awesome when people are brave enough to just ask people and reach out to them so definitely try that out I haven't tried this myself but I really want to it's just I'm a bit terrified because people here are so strong and fit and I am so much out of shape and I'm so weak but I really want to try to go to our yoga class or Pilates class or try pickleball so I'll keep you updated if I try this tip out myself but people here have really recommended it to me so so I wanted to give you this tip. So my last tip in this video on how to make friends would be to meet friends through your friends. I mean, it can be a bit controversial for some because I feel like some people are like, my friends is my friends and I don't share them. And I get it, I get it. If you have awesome friends, then maybe you're too scared that they will like your friend better or they will like someone else better but I just feel like why not just share good people and it is difficult to find real and genuine friendships so if you already have a friend and they have some awesome friends then why not gather everybody for a picnic or it could be a dinner at home I just think it's a lovely idea to just gather different people I mean I could invite some of my friends they can invite some of their friends and it's like they're all already approved if they're friends with your friend that's just what I'm imagining I just love when people invite me to I don't know maybe a birthday party or another event and then I can meet their friends too and it's a great way to expand your community just in general and expand your social circle so oh, seriously why not I think it's the best idea I love it and I think you would love it too and then let's see maybe you will find a new friend through your friends 
Well, that was everything from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could perhaps use some of my tips and tricks. I mean, why not just try and you will never ever get new relations and find new friends if you are not putting yourself out there. I mean, I don't think there is an easy way to find friends and like a partner too. It's kind of the same thing. So I would love to hear out if you try any of these tips and I would appreciate so much if you would give this video a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I do have some more tips. Maybe I will put them in another video for another time. But thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.